Welcome to the Medical and Science Center for Continuous Personal and Professional Development. Today, the 11th of July, we come again with another daily life lesson. So this daily lesson tells us about uh, looking. It says that look is one of the most commonly used words. But uh, when someone says look, in most cases, many of us, me and you, we don't look. So what it tells us is that uh, there is much more beyond looking. When someone says look, sometimes we just uh, see. But seeing is different from looking. What this one tells us is that we should be able to pay attention to something that we look at. There is what we call visual perception. This is the ability of the brain to interpret what you see into something meaningful. So in most cases, we don't actually use our visual perception. We simply see on and look and take things at the face value. We find that actually, in most cases, we judge a book by its cover. We look at a book and then we make a decision about it. Sometimes we look at people by the way they appear, physical appearance, and we make judgment about them. And yet actually we know that even the Bible tells us that uh, don't consider the appearance, don't consider the height, don't consider the size. It is important to consider a number of other aspects, especially the heart, because that is what actually determines what someone is. So it is important to improve your visual perception in a number of ways. Number one, you should be able to consider the background and experience that you have. You have to put those on the side such that uh, you can be able to get the best out of what you see. Secondly, you should be able to focus on certain stimulus, which may not be obvious, but uh, some of those ones which are not obvious are the ones that are important. So sometimes when you are talking with someone, he's telling you a story, he's telling you something, all the lies are over his face, but actually you are not taking those clues. So it is important to be able to consider that kind of uh, perception. Then number three, it is important for you to put aside your emotions, put aside your the motivations, you put aside all the other biases that you might have for you to be able to improve your visual perception. Sometimes we encounter situations and we come with our bias, with our emotions. For example, someone tells you, I'm rich. You think, yes, this person is rich. And because you're looking, at the, you're looking for someone who is rich, you go ahead and not really looking deeper to understand how this rich person is. And then lastly, it is important for you to consider the setting of the situation in which you are in to be important part and parcel of uh, your visual perception. Because sometimes people create situations, create environment which change the way you perceive. For example, someone will take you in a, a very posh car and automatically it changes your perception, thinking that actually that person is rich. Someone takes you to a certain hotel, very posh, very good. That environment creates in you something that is actually not what it is. So therefore, the above should be able to help you to improve your visual perception. Next time you encounter a situation where someone is telling you something, which you should not just take for granted that because someone has told you something or someone says look and you take it for granted that the, what you're looking is actually what it is. This has been a daily person for today.